Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I'm glad you're here. So today we're doing something a little different. This is Melanie's kids that we're gonna do. And we've never done a grooming video for anybody when we do our puppies. So today we decided to stick the camera in the bathtub. We taped it to the floor and hopefully it doesn't fall over. So welcome to my messy groom room. Um, luckily you can't see all the way back through here. I and mean, this is where we keep all of our supplies and usually it's kind of like a small disaster. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to give these guys a bath. I'll show you how we wash our puppies. A lot of people ask me, well, how do you wash them when they're little? And we don't, this is like having your third child. You don't baby it, you just do it. Um, so we're going to give all four of Melody's a bath and show you what we do. Give you a little bit of information how we do it. First of all, um, I use puppy tear shampoo on everybody. Turn it this way, I guess. Um, this is, I used to be able to get this in five gallon buckets. I cannot anymore because of COVID and shipping and availability. So I buy it by the gallon, just like everybody else does. Um, that's why I don't give it away anymore. <laughs> Sorry. So this is a, a great shampoo. It's 55% concentrated. It does not dry their skin or their coat out. Um, a couple secrets to using this because it is so concentrated we use a plastic bottle and in this if i if this were empty and i was going to fill it i fill it up to about here with hot water really hot water and then i put the rest of shampoo in it's so thick it's much easier you can you can hear this rattle my jug is full of marbles so we put marbles in here to help to mix up the shampoo since it is so thick this company also makes a really, really awesome, if you have trouble with fleas in your area, they make a yellow shampoo, and I'm about out, I gotta mix some more up. It's called Dr. Fleas, F-L-E-E-Z, I think is what it is. Um, it is not tearless, but it works great if you have a, a, a flea problem, uh, and it is 60% concentrated, so it lasts forever. If you don't have a lot of dogs you need to wash, I just get a quart bottle of it. Um, what we use is available um, in smaller quantities. I know Amazon Prime carries it. Um, when you pick up your puppy from us, I'll also give you a supplier list and the company's website for the shampoo that actually makes it, they also do free shipping and they make a scad of different shampoos, everything from white dogs to black dogs, uh, flea shampoo, oatmeal shampoo, uh, shampoo, I have nothing to do with the company, but I really, really like them. Um, another couple things that I could show you is if you are bathing your dog at home, I'm gonna switch walls and show you. So we use a suction cup for our bigger dogs. If you smack it on the wall, you get it wet, then we use what is called a jelly roll lead. I also have hooks in my wall on the tub. These are a nylon vinyl covered lead that you could snap in this and put your dog in here, tighten this down around his neck. This will not come off the wall once you stick it. It'll move right now because it's wet, but this is great for us. Uh, lots of times if, if the doorbell rings and you gotta leave the dog in the tub, if this is on your back wall, I can't even get it off now. Um, it's great because the dog is still sitting in your tub when you get back. So that's a couple tips from us. And I know the jelly rolls, um, they're probably sold a lot of places, but I buy them on Amazon Prime, but they're just called jelly rolls. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna change the angle of this camera so that you can see how we do this. Vanessa's gonna be my handoff as we do each puppy. I'll give her the soak and wet puppy. She's gonna towel it off real quick and take it out and put it in the dog dryer that we've got going out in the garage. So hang on, I'm gonna switch my camera a little bit without maybe turning this off, I hope. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, so let me get the water. Um, we use just a regular garden sprayer. And I use a flea comb. If somebody has poop on their foot or their leg and you can't get it off, a flea comb takes it off great. So we keep a flea comb somewhere usually in the tub when we're doing this. All right, give me a first victim. This is the black and white female from Melody. And let me take her collar off. She's got the green collar and I can't get a hold of snap. There we go. All right, so 
Aha, I scared you to death, didn't I? So, we don't baby them. Um, they get a bath every week, sometimes twice a week. If they're really, if, if they play really hard or they get really muddy, um, I spray their face, I get their face wet. I do clean their eyes off, kind of like kids when you come up out of the swimming pool. I know, what do you think? Huh, Munchkin? All right, let's get out some shampoo. Oh, there we go. My bottle's slippery. I've got shampoo on the outside of it. I just give her a good squirt down her body. And I scrub. So I'm not dainty dainty with them. So they get a good scrubbing. I make sure their backsides are cleaned off with no leftover residual poop. And the older they get, the more they love getting scrubbed. See, yeah, we scrub all the time, huh? Make sure I clean in between the pads, make sure there's no little rocks. If they've been outside playing, these guys aren't really big enough yet to bring in rocks, but your dog will be as it grows up. And remember, this is 100% tearless. So I go right down their face and I scrub their head. Our dogs love their heads scrubbed. They like the massage and they think it feels so good. They just kind of shut their eyes and let you do it. There you go, got your mustache clean. All right, that doesn't take long. If you do this to your dog at least every other week when you get them home, if it gets dirty sooner, you can give it up to two or three baths a week if you need to because this shampoo will not dry them out. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is dry them off, especially as the season gets colder. Their body temperature is 101 degrees. So if you're cold, they're cold. Even though they've got that coat on, the coat does protect them somewhat. But you still need to take into consideration when they get out of the tub, this would be like, I'm gonna turn that down just a little. This would be just like you getting out buck naked, soaking wet from the shower, and it's cold out in the room. So we try and get them toweled off really good. And I want to make sure I rinse them off really, really, really good. That wasn't the dog. That was my, <laughs> that was my handle on my, on my, what do you call it? My sprayer. <laughs> if that made a dog, I've never heard a dog make that noise. That's wild. I make sure they don't have any goobers in the corner of their eyes. I'm going to rinse my hand off. What do you think? Do you look like a drowned rat? See, so it says, ha, huh, look like a drowned rat. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I have a high output light above us. And from looking at this video as it's shooting it, it looks like everything's darker. So I hope it doesn't come out darker. And we will do a normal video for you and give you the weights this week. So, all right, there's number one down. Vanessa is ready with number two and out of here with number one. So this is the blue collared puppy. Oh, here's her collar, Vanessa. Okay. This is the blue, or I guess you could call it turquoise collar puppy. And this is another, this is the male. You got boy plumbing under there, don't you? All right, buddy. All right. I know, I know. Everybody's been asking me to do an anal gland video, and we're planning on it, uh, but I don't do it to puppies because we don't really start cleaning anal glands on puppies until they hit about a year old, and then we do start it with all the dogs in the kennel. But when we do it, we'll give you a whole rundown on how to do it. All right, good squirt of shampoo up there. Let's dilute it. Oh, I know. I know. Nope, you're not going anywhere. All right, turn this way. Let me scrub. Are you grunting? Yes, I hear you grunting. He says, what are you doing to me? Yeah, another bath. Another bath, bud. All right, let's pull some, sham some shampoo up here on your head. Go down your in between your eyeballs. Go under your ears. I do not wash down in their ears. If they were older and I was doing the ears and plucked them before we did their bath, yes, I would use an ear wash 
when I was, I'm getting my sleeves dirty. I would do an ear wash when I was all finished to rinse the ears out, but I don't wash the inside of their ears at this age. I do do when I pluck their ears, sometimes you gotta play chase with them. But I do go in and make sure I clean all the powder out of their ears from when I pluck them. Whoop, where are you going? No runaways. No, no runaways. Let me get the soap off of this hand. So I don't keep putting the soap right back on me. And make sure you get them really, really rinsed off well. Okay, bud, do your face. I don't really spray it directly on their face. I kind of do it on my hand and let it run down through my hand to their face. They look like little drowned rats when they get wet. All right, Munchkin. Let me squeeze out. I think I've squeezed out. It's like milking a cow when you go down these legs. All right, one more squeeze. Let's do your ears. Do this side. Okay. Oh, it looks like an Ewok with his ears out. <laughs> You've got your ears funny. Yeah, I know. There you go. All right. There goes number two. Number three. Oh, this is the teeny weeny. This is the little girl. She says, what are you doing to me in here? Look at those eyes. She says, what are we doing? All right, Munchkin. All right. Oh, mercy. Get you wet. There won't be anything left of you. No, we're not going anywhere. The other thing when you're doing this, if your puppy feels like you're confident and you're not scared and you're not like, you know, uh, fidgety, whatever you want to call it, they'll be much better off with you. And... You just do what you gotta do and you get it done. All right, let's get some shampoo. Go all the way up and all the way down. Oh, I know. You'll be fine. you be fine. I also don't baby them. I don't baby talk them when they're in here. Um, you know, we're in here to kind of get a job done and this is gonna be a lifelong thing for them. If you're not going to groom your own puppy, your groomer will really appreciate you washing your puppy at least at least every other week or at least once a week. Um, it will keep this puppy so much more used to being groomed, being handled. It won't be afraid of water. Um, your groomer will, and your dog, it's, it will be so much better off on your dog because if you don't do it, I know it. Shut your eyes, aren't you? You know, you like that. Your dog is going to be scared all the time. You don't want your dog to be scared every time it goes to the groomer. It should do it and go and enjoy it. All right, there's this little guy. He says, look at that face. You look like a wet rat. Yes, you do. All right, let's rinse you off. The other thing this shampoo does is make your coats really, really soft. You don't have to use any kind of a rinse on them. Some people use a rinse and they put too much on and then it makes them gunky. And gunk. My, my thing is still squeaking. It must be on an angle. I know it, but we gotta rinse your face. Good girl. Good girl. And we still got shampoo on her. I am gonna rinse her face off with this sprinkler. Look down. There you go. Now I got to get your hair out of your eyes. So how are we doing? Are we getting it all your eyes? Oh my. You got a goober right there in the corner of your eye. Or that one. You've still got this little thing there. There it comes. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. We are about done. All right, there is the little drowned rat. She says, just nothing left of me. No, you look so pitiful. <laughs> All right, let's squeeze her off. We go through a lot of towels, but if we squeeze some of this off before we get them out of here, it does help. Okay. Okay, I hear Vanessa with a towel behind me. All right, last one. This is the orange colored male. I know, he says, oh, 
Let me get your collar. All right, this is the orange collar mail. All right, Munchkin. I really hope the light at least lets you be able to see some of what we are doing because it's kind of really it's really bad lighting from looking on it from in here. We'll see. All right. Last fur kid. I know it. Get your backside and your feet clean. I will do another video after we get them out of the dryer today. I will do another video for you of them playing and you can watch. It's freezing cold outside. So, and we've had rain off and on today. So we'll probably have to do this in the basement, which I hate, but we may have to. We have taken them completely away from their mom. We decided this weekend we saw her running and biting at him that she had had enough. So we weaned her this weekend. So they are completely away from mom and they won't see her again. And I think their mom is going home. Um, on the 11th, I think is when I'll have to take a look. But I know Melody is going to a new home. The lady has been waiting ever since. Oh, come back here. Ever, come back here. You can't go to the back of the bathtub. Ever since she had the puppies and she found out we were going to place her because of her spay. All right, let's do, whoops. Let's do under your chin. No, no. Oh, I hate that thing. All right. All right. Gosh darn it. <laughs> this thing, this thing is complaining and the pup went to the back of the tub. They said, I'm out of here. Almost out of here. We got to clean your feet off. Squeeze your ears, squeeze your legs. You're really wet. You got a lot of water. Okay, there you go. All right, I dry my hands off. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, again, I hope the color was okay from the lighting. But um, if we can, and I can't promise it, I don't know if I can still add it or not. If I can show you the commercial dryer that we use, I'll take a picture of that at the end and show you. And uh, well, let me just, you know what I can do? Let me see if I can just take this with me and we'll just go out and I'll show you. Ugh. All right, we're gonna go out to the garage. Let me switch around. All right, I gotta flip the screen if it'll let me. I don't think it's gonna let me. All right, so the dryer we use, this is where we're at in the dryer. And I don't think it'll let me do that. No, nope, it won't let me, not very easy. If I stand up here and maybe show you that way. So they're down in here. Let me pull the top off. So if you can see them in the kennel. And the dryer is down here on the front. And they're not happy. So, hope you enjoyed that. And we'll talk to you later.